Hello guys, uh, this is Drive Test Jig. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through G2 route for Mississauga. So we are right now heading towards the test center, as you can see. So I'm gonna show you where you have to park the vehicle as you await for your road test. So the building right there is the test center building. So when you get here, they have a lot of uh, parking spot right here starting from number one up to 31 so you have to park in one of those spots and the best way to park your vehicle is to back in or make a reverse parking so that it's gonna be easy for you to go out with the examiner for your road test so when you get in here the first thing you have to do is to go inside the building and sign up when you sign up you're gonna get a ticket from them then you come out from the office and hop in your vehicle as you wait for your examiner to come pick it up so when the examiner comes in he's gonna ask of safety questions with regards to your vehicle so he will be back there asking you to signal to the left signal to the right and he will come up to the front side and request you to signal to the left signal to the right and the same then you have to press your honk for him to see whether the honk is working those are the safety features they want to see the car is well equipped before he will take you to the road so when he finished with you he's gonna hop in the vehicle ask you some basic questions because of the COVID situation, you might be check with your temperature and stuff like that. But when he hops in, he could be allowing you to sign a copy of um, agreement on the tablet showing that there's a road test going on. So when he finish, So right from the test center, when you finish with the safety check, he's gonna ask you to turn left. That means you're ready to go. He's taking you back on the road. So we're gonna go left here. So as you're going left, make sure you maintain your lane to the right. It's a two way traffic. Make sure you maintain your lane to the right. Don't pick the whole road. Be careful here, there's a bit rams. So slow down a little bit and go over the ramps. Don't rush. Your speed on the ramp should be around 20 to 30. That's okay to run smoothly on the ramp. As you can see, the stop sign coming up. This is a complete stop sign, which is a stop sign for you only. You stop behind the white line for three seconds and proceed. Check left and right, proceed when it's safe. So the speed limit here is 50. He's gonna tell you to turn left at the stop sign here. So this is always stop sign. Scan left, right ahead of you and see whoever gets there first has to go first. So when you turn left, keep to the left lane first and pick up your speed to 50 and change lane to the right.
So you remain in this lane until he tells you to change lane to the left. Let's change lane to the left because he's gonna tell you to turn left on Derry Road. So you maintain your signal to the left. This road is called Derry Road West. And as you can see, we are facing four lights. And the last light, it's an arrow. It's gonna give you arrow green to proceed right away. So in case you get a green arrow, it's telling you on the left lane to proceed without pulling or moving to the center lane. If you don't get a green arrow, then you have to move to the center and wait for any oncoming traffic. Now we have green arrow, so we move right away. You pick the lane to the left, pick up a bit, the speed limit is 70, and change lane to the right. Change lane again to the right. So the light coming up, he's gonna tell you to turn right. So you start reducing your speed and enter right from the beginning of the exit dotted line. So this road is called St. Barbara Boulevard slow down a bit then you proceed when it's safe and make sure if you are facing a, a red light you have to make a complete stop before you proceed in case you had a red light the speed limit here is 50 and we are approaching always stop sign so we go and make a complete stop behind the white line for three seconds and proceed when it's safe. Make sure as you are with the examiners, you scan your mirrors every five to 10 seconds. So he can tell you to turn left here or right here. Any of this exit point, he can tell you to turn left. So we go left. You could be asked to make a power parking anywhere around here. You could be asked to make a 3.10 also anywhere around here. So we're gonna make a 3.10 up there. Let's make a 3.10 here. I have 3.10 in one of my videos. So you can double check in my videos and learn how to make a 3.10. You might have to do a couple of practice on that to get your 3.10 right. Yeah, we finish our 3.10. So keep going until he tells you what to do next.
when you are in the pedestrian or the register uh, the res residential area make sure you scan for pedestrians and be extra careful we're gonna turn right at the stop sign coming up This is a complete stop sign. Make a full three second stop. Scan left. When it's safe, then you proceed. Then we make a quick right here. So we're gonna use this vehicle coming up to make a power parking. Anywhere here, you could be asked to make a power parking. So you signal to the right. So when you have a parallel parking like this and there's a vehicle proceeding, watch out, make sure you make the vehicle pass you right away before you proceed. I also have parallel parking in my videos. You can double check and make sure you are doing a proper parallel parking. Good. So we finish our para parking. We're gonna proceed when it's safe. So wait until the examiner gives you an instruction to proceed when it's safe. So let's go. be also asked to make a downhill parking here so we signal to the right scan your blind spot go close to the cab make a complete stop and lock the wheel all the way to the right I have some videos on uphill and downhill in my video so you can also double check and make sure you are doing your uphill and downhill right when you finish, make sure you scan your blind spot before you proceed when it's safe. Make sure to check your mirrors every 5 to 10 seconds. So the stop sign coming up, we're gonna turn right. This is St. Barbara Boulevard. Scan your left when it's safe, then you proceed. Speed limit here is 50. And the lights coming up is gonna tell you to turn left. So when you are exiting to the left lane, make sure you enter through the dotted white line. 
don't enter through the white uh, through the yellow line enter through the white dirted line but in case there's a lot of traffic line up then you can enter through the dotted yellow line we have green now so you keep to the left you keep to the left pick up the speed the speed limit is 70 here change lane to the right change lane again to the right and pick up your speed a little bit to 70 then are the lights coming up he's gonna tell you to exit to the right so this light would tend to right which is Marty's drive so watch out if you have a green light you go right away if there's no pedestrian crossing you if you happen to have a red light know that you need to stop before for three seconds to proceed the stop sign he's gonna tell you to turn right he's taking you back to the test center this road is called long side drive so make your three seconds then proceed when it's safe Finally back to the test center You are almost done with your G2 test very very easy And simple So since we did power parking on the road you could be asked to make a heading or a front parking anywhere in front of the parking lot so we go left here so let's make a front parking he can tell you to choose a spot and make a front parking so let's make a front parking beside this vehicle Good, so you are good for your road test. This is the end of the G2 test. Congratulations.